Hi y'all, Karma here. Thanks for clicking on this video and hanging out with us while we learn seven different gems and their meanings. We are going to be opening the Crystal Council box and so I hope you'll hang around and join us. No me take the time to dig deep underneath this red heat we could really meet so how have y'all been doing if you're new to the channel welcome welcome I hope that you'll want to subscribe and join our amazing community. We have all kinds of videos on natural healing, things like uh, herbal remedy videos, crystal videos and their meanings like this one, and then we open a box called Wolf in Time where we have some earth magic kind of ritual things as well. And comment below if you want me to do some videos we're getting some bee packages the end of april i'm going to be installing them so if you're interested in seeing that i've been watching bee videos and i absolutely love watching the bees just kind of move around on the hive it's so mesmerizing so yes i'm afraid i'm one of those people that if i get bit by an, any type of an insect or stung i get like big welts on my arms so i'm a little bit nervous about that I did buy a full protective suit, a really good one, and being a retired firefighter, I'm um, trusting of being in protective gear, and I know that I can be more calm, and that will help me not get stung, and then I'll be able to deal with it better when I do get stung. That does not sound like fun, though. I'm not. I'm trying to prolong that period and fall in love with the bee so that when I do get stung, I don't go, yeah, hubby. You're taking care of them now. But I digress. Sorry, sorry. Let's get back to the box. So Crystal Council is a monthly subscription box where you get seven different gems each month. They send out a questionnaire at the beginning of the month and you answer that and then they send you your crystals based on how you answer and based on the themes and stuff that they have as well. So this box is uh, $68 a month, and we do have a $5 off code. I will leave the subscription information in the video description, as well as pinned in a comment below with that link and the code DMZZ53 for you to get your $5 off. Now, I do purchase these boxes, so I don't get anything by doing that, but I did reach out to them so that I could get a discount for you so you can get your own crystals. And I do have several people who watch the videos who get their own boxes and they're like, oh, I got this or, you know, yeah, we talk about our crystals. Anyway, let's get to the box. So as you open the box here, we've got our newsletter or a little letter that comes on a big long scroll that I will insert right here so that you can see. And that gives us all the descriptions of the gems. Now I try and look some of them up, uh, especially if I'm unfamiliar with them and make a few additional notes to give you as information as well. But when we open up the box this month, and this is the February box, they come, it kind of works out where I, it's the, I, I don't, I end up doing the month before um, because of when I get the boxes and my videoing schedule. So I know some of it's a little bit out of date, but the main thing we're here for is the crystals and that never goes out of date. So we've got our little newsletter here and a little bookmark and then our crystals are down in the box there. So here's a little pretty bookmark. And it says here, this is our little newsletter, and it gives you the lunar events, the zodiac transitions, which again, I'm not going to go through since they're February. And then it says, Love Satchel, handcrafted by Crystal Council. Ease into your mindfulness practice with this indulgent mix of herbs that promotes love, luck, and peace of mind. A trifecta of lavender, rosemary, and basil with infusions of sea salt. Hmm. See, oh, yum. Oh, that's going to be a gorgeous bath. So they've got some sea salt in there. Now, 
Um, you can take it right in this bag and just make sure it's tied up really tight and just put this right into your bath and that way you won't have all the lavender floating around your tub to clean up for later. And everything will just soak through and you will be able to get the sense of the um, lavender and then sometimes if it's really strong I'll even set it up by the little hangers on my tub and let it dry out and then I'll add some more salt into it and use it another time as well. If they don't come in a bag like this that you can use to do that with, you can use a tea bag. I know my subscribers that are here all the time probably hear the same thing over and over again. They're like, yeah, I've heard you say that a bill billion times, but there's always new people. All right. So on our letter, we'll start and I'll read you the top and bottom of the letter that they send says, Hello, Karma of Omanent. Welcome to the month of love. Now is the time to spread compassion, happiness, and selflessness to the ones around you. Strive to be the shining light in someone's life this month and remind them just how special they are to you. Look towards increasing your self-expression and channeling your communication skills. This month, we've crafted your box around joy, intuition, strength, transformation, PTSD, and soothing. Michelle, congratulations on the birth of your granddaughter, Paisley. That's such a beautiful birth story, and her name is so pretty. I had told them about her, my son delivering her on the side of the road in negative 20 degrees, and they were headed to the hospital, and it was time. Thank goodness he's got both parents that were firefighter EMTs, and then he also got his EMT. So he was able to handle that well and deliver his baby girl, and it was beautiful. It's so amazing to hear that your son delivered the baby. That is such a special way to come into the world, into the hands that made you and love you. We know that your granddaughter is going to be so loved. This month, we have created a collection to honor true love, the gift of life, and the miracle of the present moment. Each of these stones can be cherished and kept with you as you go about your day. Keep a special crystal to give, your to, give to your granddaughter when she is old enough as a little keepsake that radiates joy. There are so many ways to appreciate the magic of this box, so let your heart lead and your inspiration soar peace love and congratulations um i do i keep some of the stones that i get i put them in little baggies with their descriptions and i give them to friends or just people who need them but i keep special ones for my grandkids and every time they come over they get a few more rocks crystals for their uh collection that they have at home i'm not sure their moms like it too much but I do it anyway. And then he loves a necklace with a, some type of a gem on too. That's uh, Paisley's big brother that's four years old. The other two are still young. Paisley's just not even about a month old now. And my other granddaughter is about nine months old. So they got a little ways to go before grandma can start teaching them about crystals. Remind yourself of the strengths you possess when it comes to positive positively affecting someone else's day. It can be something as simple as saying a few kind words to the ones closest to you that will truly make them feel special. By doing this, you will feel a sense of overwhelming gratitude and a spike in self-confidence. Okay, let's get into our rocks. Our rocks, our crystals, our stones, whatever you want to call them. They're beautiful and I love them. Um, I love finding out the meanings and everything, but all the way back to my great-grandmother, she had a rock garden in both of her houses, one in Utah and one in Arizona. And so, you know, we've always kind of liked that. Plus, my dad, our uh, last name is actually Stone. I was, yeah, so I was Michelle Stone for a long time. I know I go by karma here, but yeah, so maybe that's why I like rocks so much. Why do you like rocks so much? All right, let's start with our little bag. Oh, it looks like there's only one in the little bag. Two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. So we got six that are wrapped and one in a little bag. Usually you end up with two in a little bag, but here's our little bag. You usually end up with five bigger stones or nicer stones and then two that are kind of little bonus ones. Let's see here. What is this? 
I don't know. It's really dark, so it's hard to tell. Not quite sure. What do you think? Let's see if I can figure it out. Ooh. So maybe if I get it in the right light, I see it. It's like almost a green, but really almost a teal green. So like a really tealy green. And it is Greenland Jade. And when I looked it up, I found abundance and prosperity. But let's see what they have to say. An extremely rare variety of jade that was only recently discovered in Greenland. It shares the same energies of other jades from around the world while having a much more enhanced effect on uplifting one's emotional body. Watch as it softens your emotions and allows your deepest of emotions to shine through with pure light. I love jade and this is so dark and pretty. I would have never thought it was jade. But you do see some of those really dark ones. Um, I turn jade light. So like if I buy something that's a dark jade like this on a pendant, because I love jade, so I have Buddhas and stuff on jades. After about a year or so, they turn completely white on me. Why do you think that is? Give me your hypothesis, because I have absolutely no idea. But literally, when I wear jade, I will turn it almost white over time. All right, let's see what else do we have. Let's look at this one. A fulgurite. Ful fulgurite? Fulgurite. Never heard of a fulgurite. Oh, that's cool. It does look like some of the other things that I've gotten, but not like, ooh, it has a hole in it. That is really fun. Look. A little hole on that end. What is this? Fulgurite. Where are you? Fulgurite. And you notice I actually cut up the letter with the descriptions on because then when I put them in a baggie together, I am able to keep the descriptions with them. Fulgurite is the name given to tubes formed when lightning strikes sand or soil. Oh, that is so cool. Lightning carries extreme amounts of static energy that gets released in one very small spot where lightning hits. For merely an instant, the surface becomes hotter than the surface of the sun and crystallizes immediately. The heart of the bolt vaporizes the center of the fulgurite leaving it with a tubular form. Fulgurite is one of the most powerful manifestation tools the council knows of. Imagine these tiny tubes as portions, as potions full of pure energy just waiting to be released. We recommend grasping these amulets firmly and saying aloud what you wish you will achieve in this world. Let the universe hear you as you set your intention into these tiny treasures. That is so neat. That is so fun. All right, what's next? Let's do this one. Highlight opal. Ooh, I like opals. Opals, op opals are so pretty. Interesting. Doesn't really look much like an opal to me. Hyalite opal. Interesting. I don't... Hmm. Doesn't look anything like a traditional opal that I'm used to seeing. Have you ever seen an opal look like this? Hyalite opal. Oh, says you can use a UV light. I wonder if that's how you see the colors. I tried to use a UV light on the camera before to show you guys and it doesn't work much. I may try a little bit when I film these on the mirror table and see if I can't, if I can't do that. Um, uh, I looked it up and it says that it enhances creativity. 
So highlight opal, UV reactive, is a stone of purification and transformation. This crystal helps clear and cleanse your aura while providing a beautiful workspace for you to grow physically and spiritually. Highlight opal also awakens your intuition and enables your intellectual light to shine through. Work with this crystal on the third eye and crown chakras to manifest your thoughts into the physical world. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to try the UV light. It does look kind of cool to work with, but I would have never thought it was an opal. Hopefully I got that in the camera and you guys can see with the UV light. Oh, a pink amethyst. Ooh, it's a cute little one with the, oh, it's so cool. It's got like almost a hole down in it. Look at that. Not pretty. And then see, it's got like a hole almost through it. It's just those crystals. So pretty. Pink amethyst is a light variety of amethyst that focuses on our heart chakra. This loving stone helps soften our emotions and understand the five, the true feelings that are inside of us. Pink amethysts assist in taking extreme emotions and transmuting them into understandable messages. If you ever find yourself overcome by emotions, try working with pink amethyst to help calm your energies. Pink amethyst is an amazing stone to work with. It is really calming and loving and forgiving. I get all those kinds of feelings when I hold on to it. We have three more. Let's do blue tourmaline. And I do have different blue tourmaline. Ooh. Oh, that is cool. So it's a, like a regular quartz and I would have almost like if I looked at it I would have thought it was a smoky quartz but I can kind of see in here where they're saying it's got like blue tourmaline in it not much though there's not much in this piece Let's see if I can see you can see a little bit of blue there but not tons there almost looks more when you look at it just like a smoky quartz crystal and can see a little bit of blue in there. It almost just looks black. Like I would have thought it was um, like a hematite or something like that inclusion. So it says indicolite or blue tourmaline. And like I said, it looks more to me like, like a phantom crystal or a ghost crystal, those kinds of things. Uh, it says that it's a crystal with various minerals, including tourmaline. So that's where this blue tourmaline comes in here. Indicolite activates and aligns one's throat and third eye, creating a strengthened channel between the two. Inner visions and unique psychic abilities become activated, allowing one to understand the messages behind them. Your communication skills will enhance and push you to become more in touch with your ideas and emotional state. The messages and visions you experience while working with Indicolite can be easily digested and communicated into this physical realm. One will be able to remember the minor details in their dreams, thus being able to discuss and dissect them with the ones who know you best. Hmm, so far I don't really have a favorite. Probably the lightning one, because that's just so cool. And the jade, I do really like the jade, really dark, but probably the lightning one. So let's see, this is erythite. Erythite, I think. Did you pronounce that? Erythite? Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Look. Look at those sparkly. It is so pretty. I really like that. That may be one of my favorite stones out of this box too. Um, so it is also known as red cobalt. And cobalt ore oxidizes leaving crystals of 
erythrite. Erythrite is a stone that helps the entire chakra column while assisting with energy flow throughout the body. The result of this total realignment is that it is ultimate is that it ultimately strengthens one's inner balance. This mineral helps identify areas that are in vital need of healing rays, self-healing rays. This can be a trait, physical injury, or even an emotional reaction. Once identified, erythrite is able to channel and release pulsating energy that can assist in one's overall recovery. Erythrite. I've got to get that in my head. Okay, I like that one too. That one's going to be fun to work with. I always like the shiny crystallies, I'll admit. I mean, I do like other ones like um, calcite and stuff with the waxy feel. So I do like different textures to work with. And last but not least, natrolite. Natrolite. I love that I don't know, like, you know, there's at least three, four stones in each box that I've never worked with or don't really know of well. Okay. It's interesting. I do like to kind of do this even though I do the video on the mirror just because this is the only way where you kind of get to see all the different sides of it. Natural light is a stone that instantaneously raises your vibration upon touching upon touch, linking your third eye and crown chakra together. This effect can push you into a state of awakening in which the world that you viewed yesterday may be entirely different than today. Shifting your outlook can change your entire life perspective and gratitude towards your true soul's purpose here on earth. You know, happiness is so much how we choose to perceive the world. We can always be the victim and get our attention by making people feel sorry for us. There's just so many different ways and you can look at anything that happens to you in your life and you can use it to bring you down or you can use it to bring you up. Um, when I was about eight years old, I, um, I had this thought and it's not really in, I don't remember exactly the saying I said, but you know, you can use, uh, opposition as either stumbling blocks or stepping stones. And that all has to do with how you perceive what's happening to you and how you perceive what your future holds. So I would encourage you all to remember to look at your perspective and try and find the silver lining in things and try and be grateful for the experiences you have in life, even if they're struggles, because they make you the person that you are, especially if you choose to overcome them in a positive way and use them as stepping stones into the new you, the more improved you, instead of stumbling blocks. So that was our box today. Please let me know if you uh, have a favorite stone, what your favorite stone was, and why. Uh, let me know if you want me to do the bee videos, if you're interested in that at all, or is that just another diversion, because I already kind of have, like, a third of my viewers love the crystal videos, you know, some of them only come for the herbal remedy videos, so I... I know that's one of my problems is I'm a little bit too eclectic and I don't want to do just crystal videos. Although if I did that, the channel would probably be doing much better than it is because everyone would want to watch every video I put out. So give me your comments below and kind of let me know about that and what you think. Do you want me to put a, some B videos in or does that just take away even more from the videos that you want to watch. So give me some of that feedback and let me know what your favorite stone was. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us to find the people who want to join our awesome, amazing community. And remember, come back often to the channel where you can say, karma's my friend. Bye y'all.